All right, guys, welcome to Autoflow University. A quick video here uh, this time on uh, Google. Uh, Google issues, uh, full disclosure. I am long. <laughs> Last week, I believe I got assigned a couple of chairs on 94s. So I have 200 chairs on 94. My cost on those ones are about 91 and change. Uh, I sold those puts for about 350 bucks. I wanted the stock on 94s, and remember, the stock has flaw, I mean, has uh, completely uh, fly to the 100s and 105. Now the stock here at 94, I'm really liking it. What I like the most is, for those of you who love Fibonacci's, uh, I like the move that they did last week. I mean, they came and tested uh, the 618 and they actually closed up 94.35 just above uh, that 618 um, Fibonacci on when it comes to Google. Now, you can play in multiple ways. You can wait for the market to give you the pullback. Uh, talking about the market, uh, just last week, I posted this in, in the room, uh, in the chat, which is the S&P uh, SPX, right? For those of you in the S&P, I post this for, you know, give you kind of a guide what to expect from the markets. Uh, many people are saying, well, the market is now going to go and test those, you know, 3000s and all this nonsense that you hear on, on, on Furulan. Uh, but one of the things that I have seen f uh, many times is uh, right with that fear gets to the traders is when you see the turnaround on people, institutions buying the stocks. What I do like about the SPX so far is that we are holding, you know, above the 40 week uh, exponential and above the 10. So if you look at the market overall, uh, here's the 40, uh, the 4,000, excuse me. And here is what we just did last week. I mean, we did pull back, okay? So this is the whole move from the December lows. We hit the 41.96. And we are heading to that 4,000 mark, okay? We are heading to the 4,000. And uh, I also have marked here a couple of things for my guys. And that is the 618 move uh, on the 5th. And the 618 is right here, right on the 3930s, 3900s. And I really like these 3900s. And I, I would love for us to get tested all the way to 39. I mean, only time will tell. Now, why do I say 39s? I mean, if if you think about it, uh, markets uh, overall, right, the stock market gives you about a negative 5% pullback uh, twice a year. And you need to understand that. Now, the market has run now so strong since the December lows. I mean, we were up almost 9 point, almost 10%, I believe, at one point um, for the month of January and February combined. So it is only, you know, smart to wait and let the market give you a pullback, a decent pullback of 3 4%, 5%, and see how the market reacts to these prices. So my eyes are located right here, right on the 3930s, 3900s. I want to see what the market is going to do here. And then, you know, take that opportunity to load a couple of calls or directionals or put credit spreads or start selling puts uh, for the front month uh, across multiple stocks, one of them uh, being Google. I, I love Google at these prices. I mean, if Google can just get a little bit under these 94 bucks and provide us a move to the 90s, that would be fantastic. Uh, if you look at the daily, let me show you the daily chart right here quickly. Uh, here is the daily uh, on Google. And as you can see, I have a mark here, my 90s. And the reason I have those 90s is because when we went above it, I mean, on the tape, that day that we went above it for multiple days, two, three, four days, we saw the buying, big buyers coming in at those 90s, 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 90s. So I want to see if they are still there once, you know, the market gives me a pullback and if they are going to come and load the boat again uh, here in the 90s. So how do you play it? Well, if you can sell uh, cash secure puts like the way I do it, uh, you can come back and go to April. April are paying about, maybe they can pay about a $1,000 uh, for the 90s. Right now they are about 800 bucks. These are the April calls. But if you look at the April puts, let me give you the April puts here in a minute. Uh, I was just looking at those 90s. Uh, let's see what the April puts are at. Uh, currently, let me see. They are about 300 bucks, are they? Uh, yeah, about 300 bucks. Okay, these are the April puts 90. So if you were to get those 90s and you want to get long the stock, well, you can sell those puts and collect the premium or you can write it with your calls. I mean, whatever you would like to, to do. So I've been probably, you know, doing the same thing that I did back in January is sell like I, I sold those 94 puts is probably sell the 90s and see if I can get a sign, okay? This is just a play that I, I will might uh, do on, on Google. Uh, you can also do a put credit spread, maybe the 85.80, okay? The 85.80 right now for April, let me see how much are they paying on those, probably about a buck. If we can collect 33% of the spread, that would be great. Oh, well, they are doing about 75 cents, so this is not bad. 
if you were to wait a little bit i might save this one uh let me put my 10 orders here i might save this and try to collect about a dollar fifty on it and uh, let me save that right away so it doesn't look that bad uh, when you look at this if you can collect about a buck buck fifty uh, you'll be okay as you can see on this account, I did get assigned those 200, uh, those 200 shares on Google. These are the ones that I got assigned at 92 and 94 on those puts. Uh, my cost is somewhere around, I mean, 94, excuse me. Those are the 94s and 95. Uh, I sold those for like, what, 350 bucks. So my cost is about 91 and change on, on those ones from the 95 that got assigned. Uh, two of those here on the 97s these are actually never mind this is this this is the account that got assigned on the 97 these were the 97 puts that i sold uh i thought i had my other account but i have this account this is the one that got assigned on the 97 so i have two of those and what we did even uh, the one that just expired yesterday uh, we sold the calls the 98 and those expired worthless we collected about 150 bucks and we sold the 115 on those as well and they expire completely worthless if you look at the chat i believe uh, i have a guess of, on the expirations on those and on nvidia and on google uh, what did we do on google uh let me see if i have that image here to show you so we did collect it about what uh, on the cover calls i think what these were the cover calls on uh, uh on the google uh, we collected about 175 bucks Okay, that's what we did, about $175. Uh, we sold the 115 calls that expire uh, next week. This expired the 24th, and we're still making money. 100% uh, of it, probably we're going to keep the 100% now that Google is under uh, 115. I mean, nothing to do here. We can just write it along, okay? So when it comes to now averaging your, you know, your, end, your, your cost on your positions that you have, Selling this 8580 probably would be the best idea. You can always defend it by converting it to a back ratio if it goes under 85. But if it doesn't, uh, if by April, because this is the expiration of April, if the market turns around or if it goes sideways, those puts are going to zero. Okay, to zero. So this is what I got for you guys on Google. Uh, I hope this helps you create a plan of action. I have some for the month of March. If you look here, I'm planning, you know, to go with the 90s and my 91s uh, for the front month uh, directionals on Google issues. But my eyes are over here right on April. See if I can start selling some puts and collecting some premium and ride the stock back to 100. Uh, I do believe that um, Google can be on the 100th, probably mid June if this market uh, indeed uh, turns around and doesn't bleed into a negative 10 or negative 15% drawdown all right so if you look at the daily daily like i said before pretty decent here in the 90s we saw decent buying and i want to see those buyers come back if this market uh, pulls back uh, you know spx give us a little bit five percent and maybe the nasdaq give us a seven to an eight percent pullback all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll be seeing you guys in the trading room if you haven't subscribed please here at the end of the video you're gonna see some information go ahead and give us a chance come and check us out we do a lot of trading futures e-mini crude oil and a bunch and a bunch of stocks all right thank you so much god bless we'll be seeing you guys in the trading room